Hi guys, this is Jana here. Welcome back. So today we're going to make another Brazilian treat because I'm in the Brazilian vibe lately and uh, because you guys deserve it. And it's um, something we in Brazil have it all the time. We don't even think about it and it's so delicious. I don't even know the name, uh, how the name would be in English, but it would be something along the lines of um, uh, hamburger, uh, hamburger calzone or calzone hamburger because it's a um, some sort of a calzone uh, dough and the hamburger patty in the middle. So it's just so delicious. Everybody loves it. So I had to share this with you guys. And we start by making a simple dough with uh, regular uh, flour. But if you're gluten free, you can add any kind of flour that you used to. We're going to add one and a half cups. dry yeast, salt, and we start by mixing with a spoon and a good olive oil and some lukewarm milk, plant-based milk. All the measurements, as always, is going to be in the description box below and on the website. This is such a basic, basic um, dough. Um, uh, we're going to let it proof only once, not twice, as they uh, would normally do. And uh, I'm going to remove my rings because you guys sometimes yell at me because of that. You can transfer this to your board. And now we're going to knead it for about 5 to 10 minutes. The more you're going to develop the gluten, which is going to make um, our dough elastic. And that's going to make the buns the 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 dough one once it's ready it's going to be more and more soft all right now we form a little bowl and put it back in our bowl covered and let it proofing for about 40 minutes but please leave it in a protected environment with a cover i'm gonna put my plastic cap as always but uh like a no wind around in a not so cool place in a warm place and i will be back soon and i am back and our dough have uh, risen considerably looking good and now we are going to divide the dough into four pieces there I love the smell of yeast, don't you? It's so nice. It reminds me so much of my childhood because my mom used to make bread all the time and bread variations, like everything in the oven. And uh, it's such fond memories. And now what we're going to do, we're going to make it into a little bowl. We're going to form a little circle like that. And then with your very modern kitchen tool such as this one <laughs> you just roll it oh i forgot to tell you that uh, the hamburger patties that i'm going to be using today is the um, banana peel burgers that i made the other day so i made it and then i have uh, put them in the oven for no i have put them in the skillet and then I uh, fry them normally, like I showed you in the video. And uh, I, f I have frozen them and then I, I let them uh, thaw out and uh, super easy. So have job done. Now, you know the size of the burger that you're going to be using. And the dough, it's supposed to be twice the size because you're going to roll it and make it a little package. So just to be sure that everything is going to be inside the dough. See that I have enough room here so I can fold in. Important step on this recipe. I have also here a few vegetables. My preference is like the hamburger, the vegan cheese, tomatoes and onions, simply because you cannot add too much because then you can't close it, you know, I know too bad, but Trust me, it is delicious nonetheless. Now we add the tomatoes, onions, some oregano, super important. And now 
you close like that and then you keep working it's super super easy these size that I'm making here guys this is a um, like a, an individual portion it and because it's really really big it's um, like a meal but if you want to make it smaller to make snacks it looks super cute as well uh, my mom and my grandmother they used to make for our birthday parties when we were little like very small and it's so pretty and so delicious I have a parchment paper here because I like it's easier after when you clean right but if you are not going to add the parchment paper just add some grease so the dough doesn't get stuck to the baking sheet and our last uh, calzone hamburger hamburger calzone whatever you want to call it, is ready and I have here something that I have uh, invented I'm pretty sure somebody else did it but um, the point is you know when you want um, your bread or your um, dough or your buns whatever to be really golden when you make it but we don't use eggs this is a mixture of a uh, vegan mayonnaise and the uh, ketchup because the fat and the red color is going to add this extra shine and this extra golden color so you lightly brush it on the top and a little bit on the sides just to add it just to add a little bit more of a visual element to our food because we eat we are with our eyes i don't know do you do you have this saying in uh, english we say that in brazil all the time we eat with our eyes first something like that right i'm going to add um, sesame seeds in all of them and now this baby here is going to the oven for 20 um for 25 to 35 minutes i know it's a stretch but you need to know your oven i mean my oven uh in brazil it's 25 minutes here in gran canaria amazingly it's like uh, 35 so you need to know but the temperature is 200 degrees celsius or 390 fahrenheit and uh, it's supposed to be golden brown on top i'll show you let's go Hello again my lovelies and I am back with our hamburger calzone and look at this like seriously this is super children friendly they absolutely love it I used to make this for my son when he was a tiny little kid and uh, freeze it you can freeze it in two stages you can freeze the dough and then uh, make it later or you can freeze uh, the whole um, uh, hamburger calzone before you put it in the oven and then you separate with parchment paper so it doesn't get stuck when it when it freezes and then you can put it in the oven and then you can make this delicious thing now we are going to try because your chef here deserves it let's cut one first and it's very important very important that you wait at least 15 minutes before you eat it before you serve it uh, because if it's too warm you won't be able to hold it and um, the cheese uh, although I know it's vegan it, it doesn't melt so much but it tends to get too runny so while it's warm but not hot it's the best way of having it and look at this my lovelies, if this is not happiness, I don't know what it is. Now let me put them all here. And I promise you, your mind is going to be blown away because this is so good. So, so good. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't it so, so pretty? Now, the best way of enjoying this is with a warm marinara sauce in Brazil we don't do like that we have with the mayonnaise and ketchup but I think that with the marinara is better and here we go um. oh my 
my god. Ah, I love it. I think that this is one of the best things, top three, I think, that I made here on the channel. I think that this is my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, this is my favorite so far. I am so happy. Last week I have made so many Brazilian things because I have been missing my mom so much. So I have, I, I have these things, you know. I think that uh, food brings you direct memories and then the, it puts you back in that place in your heart where you, uh, you want to be. So it warms my heart a little bit and then I talk to my mom so I get all good and, and, next, and uh, ready for the next week to come. This is my gift to you. And uh, if there are Brazilians watching, guys, esse é pra vocês também. And I see you next time. This is it for today. Don't forget to check my Patreon. Thank you guys for helping me, for supporting me. And if you want to know more about Patreon, check there. And uh, check my social media. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, uh, press the bell button so you get notified every time I make a video. And I see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness. Oh, mm. my God.